I want to share a story with you about the creation of this painting. I was exploring Joshua Tree National Park with a friend on a beautiful spring day. And she took me to a place that she called a birthing cave. And in this place, there were many rabbits and beautiful spring flowers. So as I was looking around, I saw the silhouette of a rabbit in an opening in the rocks and wondered, were my eyes playing tricks on me? And I looked away and looked back and it was gone. So we spent a couple of hours here doing yoga and playing drums and flute. And we went to another spot in the park. And then later that day I realized I had left two of my medicine stones where we were sitting. And that's very unusual for me because they're very precious to me. And my wonderful friend said, well, let's just go back and get them. So this was probably a 50 mile round trip back into the park uh, as the sun was setting to get my stones. And when we came back and we walked towards this rock shelter, there was a cottontail rabbit sitting with my stones. So the light and shadows in this shelter cave inspired this sketch that I made quickly to capture the rabbit having a vision of a rabbit in the clouds. So when I start a painting, I just get into it right away with paint. And I set up the composition based on a reference that I make with the photos that I take uh, with a program on my iPad. So I have that for guidance. I do my best to cover the canvas as quickly as possible in my first session. I feel that as soon as that white of the canvas is covered, I can really start to play with color. So you can see here, I'm blocking in light and dark, but also using lots of colors in the underpainting of the rock. You'll see purples and greens and browns and cobalt blue. And this will subtly show through in the finished piece. Making the illusion of a cloud is quite tricky. It's got to be exactly the right softness, brightness. The colors have to be just right. And the fact that I'm trying to create an illusion of a shaped cloud, I don't want it to look awkward. I come and paint layers upon layers using techniques like stippling with a flat brush and another technique called scumbling, which is a, a dry technique of kind of scrubbing paint. I even use my fingers with, to pick up fresh paint and with like a thumbprint to come back and press into a different area on the canvas. It was really fun to paint the illusion of the light coming through this beautiful triangular window in the rocks. So I just carefully follow my reference and use specialty blends of paint that I mix on my palette to create the colors of this illusion. I work dark and light and dark again to kind of push and pull, and that's part of the secret of getting that three-dimensional effect. So I came back in and I worked more on the clouds. I really admire Bob Ross's wet on wet technique. So the smoke stain in the shelter cave and the petroglyphs were not actually there, but these were based on other pictographs, paintings on the rocks that I've seen. Here is an in progress picture at this stage. Here you'll see that technique of 
pushing and pulling the medium tones, then I bring out the light tones, then I come back in with more dark tones. And this is how I get that very realistic effect. Here's my palette for the next little detail of this bush that I'm painting. I tell you, those $1.99 paints that are pre-mixed are just some of my favorite standard colors. I paint very thin and they come in such a range of colors that really saves me a lot of time mixing paint. And here is the final detail, putting my signature in the corner. I try to give a lot of space because the framing will take up some of that. <laughs>